as I mentioned in the last chapter, Candy Flurry is in a spot where it's either doing a really odd like plot point where you're having you know, the big villain well I, I don't think he would even logically be the biggest villain because the the guys who invented the the, the what is it the toy toy candy or whatever like it they should be like the bigger villains i would assume whoever like the lead scientist was because he's the one that caused all this and should be able to make more people like this but Outside of that, this Amato guy, I mean, obviously being the one that caused, like, the huge lollipop calamity in Tokyo years back. He, right now, is, like, the big focus villain. And it's either just having him meet Sumugi and, like, having interactions between them, having them kind of show up in the place. And I would imagine, also, like, given if, if the series isn't getting axed and this is, like, something planned, it will show receipt that... Sumuki is on their side and she is not against this guy or she's not with this guy she's against him but he like started out in the chapter just doing his thing and you had like the receipt dudes are just like hey what, what, you know what, what are you doing here and then he's just like you know I'm, I'm an outsider I, you know I just do stuff and uh you have a moment with uh Irie and I, I forgot the other guy's name the the sleepy depressed looking dude and they're like having a moment he's uh she's like do you really think you can beat me and he's like i'm also three star i don't think he could take her i really don't especially after seeing like where she's at regularly and then on top of that she can have one of the confedos and become way more powerful i don't think for a moment that he can beat her granted we don't know the full capabilities of this dude but I just really don't think that he can beat somebody uh, with that kind of capability. When you have no powers whatsoever, and the characters in the series, outside of those who have powers, they need the Confedo just to have, like, superhuman abilities, whereas, like, the, the uh, like, sweet users already have superhuman powers by themselves, and then somebody like Irie, who's already really powerful, even compared to the other sweet users, she can get way more powerful on top of that. Uh, but... Right when that one's kind of starting up, you had that one dude, Umino, show up, and he's, like, trying to talk to him, and I actually am really hoping that this series, like, continues, because, like, this character will feel so non-existent to the series if it gets axed, because, like, he had his moment, and then he went away, and then just kind of comes back. And that's one of the reasons where it's, like, it, it's a weird spot where everything is right now, and I can't tell the, the current fate direction of the series, and it'll be a shame if it gets if it gets canceled because I I do genuinely like it I, I do think it's really interesting I like the weird power system I like the characters I like the the art style like this panel was really cool you had like the giant lollipops falling down where the Amato guy like shows up and he's like you know all the receipt people deserve to die I'm guessing that the receipt group is in some way either connected to the uh, the factory that gave people sweet powers. Or it's how they handled uh, response to them, because from what we saw in the flashback, those like like a lot of the sweet users seemed pretty all right at one point. They seemed okay, and even like they had this idea that with their powers they could like kind of become heroic, or at least they like, have have like a, a, a like a greater sense of standing amongst other people. And I'm willing to bet it was one of those things where it was like the receipt and the government were like. We know that you aren't doing anything, but you're potentially capable of doing stuff, so, you know, we're gonna have you handled. And, I, like, that I can see always, like, turning people, like, into the, you know, pretty much against any form of authority at that point. Because then it's like, if I'm not doing anything, I might as well, like, if, if I'm gonna be treated like a bad guy, I might as well be a bad guy at that point, kind of, like, scenario. And, he, like, Amato has, like, the little giant lollipops just start raining down, like, crashing into the buildings, just causing all kinds of havoc. And, and we also get to see a bunch of the other characters, like, Irie comes up, and, uh, like, he just seems absurdly more powerful than everybody else. Like, he just completely backhands her, uh, her ice cream, just, like, like, ice wave, just completely smacks it with, like, a regular lollipop, no problem. The, uh, other three-star guy comes in with this fork, gets completely blocked, like, with no, like, no difficulty. And, like, he's doing it with a lollipop that's just, outside of the stick, it's, like, regular size. So, uh, like, zero difficulty from him. And one of the things, like, I talked about in the series I like a lot is with the weird powers, you have characters having to, to kind of, like, utilize them in odd ways in order to, like, use them to their most of their capabilities. Like, when we saw uh, Tsumugi using the stick specifically, essentially like a power pole, you know, just elongate, smash somebody in the face. Or in this case, he has uh, the lollipop, like, he's holding onto the stick, and he 
presses it down, so it's like this heavy amount of force that throws them way up in the air. And he's got all of them now, like, way up in the sky, and he can just drop them and then just do all this damage. Uh, and there's, like, saying, like, oh, you know, she won't be able to fight one of the, um, one of the five, uh, Stella Etriments are out of commission. I wonder if they're talking about Irie or if they're referring to another one. I, I, I feel like they're talking to another one. And then there's, like, a bunch of, the, like, the characters, uh, amongst this group, and they're just kind of moving out. And the, uh, like, the other characters all, like, present. Like, one, you have this, like, weird, like, Victorian dress lady with chocolate. I like her design. There's, like, this one girl who's got, I'm guessing, cotton candy. Uh, one dude with some form of, like, taffy or rope candy. That's, it's funny, because, like, the dude also at uh, the bottom is the one that looks like Megumi from, uh, Jutsu Kaisen. Uh, but, like, they're just causing havoc all around. And one of the things that at least gives me a little bit of belief that maybe the series isn't getting axed is that... It's, it's at a spot right now where there's not enough characters to really kind of go against all of these enemies. So unless they're going to get off-screened, I don't know who's going to defeat them. Unless the other Etriments kind of just pop up and end up defeating them kind of thing. But, like, that would be, that would be, like, a direct sign. It's like, yeah, this series would probably be getting axed if, like, <laughs> if that's the case. But Samugi coming up, jumping right up to Amato, and just getting ready to, uh, to, to pulverize him. And Amato, like, has a moment where he's like, you know, that's not the, uh, the same sweet user from the uh, the photo in the magazine or in the, the newspaper that has the lollipop powers, and he's like looking at one of Misaki and or uh, Midori rather, and uh, he just looks a little bit astonished. Samu gets this massive smash hit on him, crushes him uh, all the way down to the ground. He looks unfazed though, completely fine, and unbothered by any of like the damage that he received. Whereas the uh, the other two dudes look completely beat up, like the. Uh, the, uh, the gummy dude and the gum guy are both, like, done. And I'm, I'm pretty sure, like, the other dude I can see is the, the cookie dude. They all look like they just got completely demolished by that. And then the other attacks going on. But now Samugi is pissed. She's finally found the guy that uh, she's been looking for. She's been able to clear her name. And at least seemingly right now, the biggest bad guy. So... We'll see where things go. I, I'm a little bit worried, but at the same time... It's, it's just one of those things you gotta accept if, like, in the series don't get out of the wood of that general axing area. It's always on that fence where, unless they smash sales and expectations, it's like, you, you gotta keep that potential, like, on your mind every single chapter that you're reading that, like, this could get axed or this could be canceled. I'm hoping that Candy Flurry survives. Um, I, I, I genuinely liked it. I remember I was sad when Build King got axed, but I was happy that the series that took the slot that it was in, I also enjoyed. Uh, like, the only thing after this I can say is, like, if it does get axed, I hope that the mangaka doesn't let this, like, dip, bring them down. Like, whoever, like, I don't really know the mangaka. Like, I think this is their first series. But, like, regardless of whether this is the first or however many series they've done in Shonen Jump 4 list or other magazines, I'd hope that they wouldn't let it, like, drag them down too much and then try again and do another series. Because I genuinely like this. I thought this was fun, and I would like to see more from this person's uh, creative standpoint. Because, like, the creativity of this has been really fun. I I've genuinely really enjoyed, like, the weird candy powers, the characters. I think they've been really fun. I think, like, the only way that this could have been, like, even crazier is if, like, he used a... Well, I assume it's a dude. It might be a chick. Uh, you know, used a more fantasy, like, world instead of, like, real-life Japan. Just because then it could be even crazier. But we'll see. Like, maybe, maybe it'll survive. Maybe the, you know, the next series that this guy will make otherwise will be even fun, more, uh, more wild and wacky. We'll see. Either way, comment below. Thumbs up the video. But for the like button, subscribe button, and check out my other videos. But that, if you haven't already subscribed, but thank you all for listening. Bye.